Hey everyone, Overkill here again for another video. This time is my SH Figure Arts Great Sam and unboxing and review. Super stoked to have this guy in my collection. Been waiting a little while for him to get here. As you can see, I got a couple and I'm ready to show you guys what's in the box. So let's get to it. All right, first up, we will look at the box. You can see SH Figure Arts Great Salmon. Got an iconic pose. Just says the name on this side. Got a couple different poses on this side. Just pretty much showing the details of the figure. And then on the bottom, SH Figure Arts Great Salmon. And for the back of the box, we see Great Salmon. A full array of interchangeable hand and face parts allowed to express portrayal of the Great Salmon. It's super modeling that shows all the different poses you can do with the figure. All, of course, you know, SH quality stuff. And it does have the blue fin sticker. And this is the US release one. That's why mine took a little bit longer to get here because I always order the US releases. But it's got the Tamashi seal on it. So, let's get this thing open and check it out. Here is the figure in its clamshell, and you can see that it does have the classic uh, Great Sam and Helmet look. It comes with the bandana and the sunglasses that Gohan wore during the World Martial Arts Tournament. It has a powered down Gohan head, and it has a SS2 Gohan head. Very awesome to have all these different heads for Gohan. You can see it's got some more, I guess, antennas here for Gohan. And one extra expression face. It's got an extra joint. And all the different hands that it does have. Pretty killer features. I love all the different heads that it comes with. Because you can do a whole lot of different iconic poses. You could actually like. You know if you was a big time collector. And wanted to have this awesome display. You could have four different ones of these bought. And have all the different heads displayed if you wanted to. Pretty awesome. So let's take this thing out of the clamshell. And look at it. And here he is out of package. So we'll take a quick look. You can see that. The cape does come off, it's hooked to a peg, and it's actually got a little bit of articulation. You can see the peg up under it. And with SH, you know you got a lot of articulation. First up with the head. Doesn't look up too far with the helmet on. It looks down pretty far. It got full rotation, a little bit loose on the neck. And then starting with the arms. You can see with the shoulders, you do have the flaps for the shirt to allow dynamic posability. The arm will go up. If you leave that intact, it goes up about that high. Goes straight down. And you do get the full rotation. You can see inside there, you get the full rotation due to that ball joint. And it does have the upper bicep cut. And he does have the double jointed elbows. But allow his arm to go up like so. And straightened out like so. And the wrist does turn. And there's the great salmon watch as well on this arm. And as you know the other arm is identical. So we'll move on. You can see he does have some like battle damage I guess on his outfit here. A couple spots. None on the back. But. You can see here that he does have some sort of ab crunch. Allows him to go back about that far. Trying not to move the waist and forward about that far. And with the waist, it does turn in two spots. Above the belt and below the belt. And you can get a good look at the belt itself. Black and gold. And then with his bottom of his shirt you can see that it's a soft good um, like a soft rubber good and it's very flexible to allow for the legs underneath to allow for better posing so we'll raise it up and look at the legs as you can tell the legs go way back and kick forward pretty far it's got the cut here it's got full rotation you can see how the joints are made in here. And with the knee, it's double jointed. So you can go back about that far. And straighten it out. 
And then at the ankle, he does not turn. Or the calf, I should say, he does not turn. And then with the ankle itself, with the foot down about so. And up about like that. And with the toes, go up that far, straight, and you got full rotation on it. And the opposite leg and foot is the exact same. So that's it for the articulation portion. So, take a quick look at this head. And you can see all the details with the orange and black and silver. With the antennas, this is the iconic Great Salmon look. So, let's change the head out and check it out. So, with this head, he does have an extra screaming face. Which is here. And I'll show you how to change that out. You see the lines here, you can actually pop off the back of the helmet. Like so. The pegs that it goes into. And then you just pop the face out. It's just the bottom part of it, the mouth and the nose. The visor stays in place. And you pop in the screaming face. And then you pop, pop this back in with, through the pegs. Just like that. And uh, you see the one hole here. Goes onto the peg here. And that's how you put that one back on. So that's for the classic salmon face swap. Next, we will look at the face that, or the uh, head that you would accustom to him using in the World Martial Arts Tournament. The classic bandana and sunglasses. Bandana does, got flexibility to it, and it does turn, which is pretty cool. Hopefully not as bad as my SH Naruto, because his weapons pouch falls off all the time, because... It won't hold in between his weapons pouch and his bandana. It's it's pretty hard to do anything with it. Now with this one, you pop it in. Like so. And then you instantly got another look for Gohan. Which is when he fought in the World Martial Arts Tournament. When Vegeta had no part of him because he only wanted to fight Goku. And when he let everybody down because everybody wanted to see the awesome Super Saiyan 2 go home from the Cell Saga. And instead he grew up to be like this. But I'll let you guys know. Uh, newsflash. Adult Gohan is my favorite Gohan. That's the reason I want a Grey Salmon so bad. So, to each their own. But yeah. I like the look of this on him. I may use this one quite a bit. Between this one and a Super Saiyan 2 I'd say it'd be the ones I'll use. So, let's get to the next head. Next up is the powered down Gohan with no uh, accessories on. Pretty killer, not much to it, just, you know, the pretty awesome adult Gohan look. So let's put him on. Pop him on the peg. The spikes are very sharp on this one. And you get a good look at Gohan in powered down form. Very awesome look as well. All of these are awesome looks. Pose them either way would be cool. Very menacing looking version of Gohan. Um, no face swaps for any of the extra heads. But it's fine because I mean they threw in the extra heads here. We could have just made more money by making new figures. But they decided not to. Love this look for Gohan as well. So let's get to the Super Saiyan 2 head. Here it is. The Super Saiyan 2 head for Gohan. Very awesome detail on this as well. The shading between the yellows is awesome. Very spiky. Put it on the figure. And see what it looks like. There he is. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So what do you guys think so far? Which one's your favorite head? Is it the power down? Is it the bandana? Is it the hand with it? Is it the Super Saiyan? Which do you prefer? If you had this go home, which would you like to pose more if you had it? For me, it's very hard to tell. I like them all. I'll probably rotate them pretty good. Let's see. Next up, we do have this piece. And its intention is to go in the back to cover up this hole. 
to make it look more flush, which is pretty killer if you don't want to have them without the cape. The cape makes them very top heavy and harder to pose or to stand up, which can be kind of aggravating because he didn't come with a stand. If he had a stand, it would be all right, but he doesn't. And this is the look that you got to see right before he went to fight Fat Boo with everything that was going on. And post-fight, he had lost all the green on the outfit and he was just wearing the black, which would be another killer way to have the figure. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, I like them like that as well. Uh, next up, I'm not sure what's going on with these. I don't know if they're meant to be replacements in case something were to happen or what exactly. Um, I don't know if the package says what they are. It doesn't really say anything on it. I might have to look into that one. Letting you guys down by not knowing what that is. Uh, to me, I'm just going to assume it is extra ones because it looks like they come off like a model kit and pop in. Or if you guys know, just let me know in the comments below. We'll put that one back. And he also has this extra joint. I guess as a replacement part in case you needed one. Or to put onto the left hand uh, Sans watch if you don't want to have it on there. I would say that would be the best uh, thing, more than likely, which is pretty killer. You can have that accessibility if you wanted to. With the hands, we'll run through them real quick and show you guys what we got. Of course, we got the fisted hand, the two that comes on its standard. And then next... You have... An attacking hand or an open-handed hand be pretty cool uh, maybe be able to use for a z-sword custom if you had one but yeah I mean pretty cool next up is the karate chop it's got a wicked wicked curve on this thing Huh. I don't know how that one really works to get that pose like such. I don't know. I don't know how that one works because it don't look like it has much. <laughs> you can see uh, broken handed Gohan. I guess if you just want to pose them like a snake style martial arts. Next up is another palm hand. And it's the same way. It's got that wild turn to it. And that is the one to use like for the same in pose. If you want to have your hand, you know, like so. Oh, the Saiyan man is here. Of course, theirs looks better. It's all in a joint if you can land it right. There we go. And lastly is what I consider the energy blast hand. Ready to attack. And they did correct the problems that Vegito had. You do not see any fingernails on it, which is a good thing. That's pretty awesome. I also use these hands sometimes for my characters when they're pose to be catching a fist or whatever. But yeah, um, let's see what we can do with them. Let's get, let's get them in a pose and see how cool he looks. 
And there he is set up, and there's no way I can make this pose without him being propped up on that box. So I definitely need to find some sort of uh, stand for him. But yeah, pretty killer, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, very nice addition to my collection. Um, I'm going to really be using them. Pretty cool to have them in my own version of the Tournament of Power to see how he would look in it with some of the other characters with my Dragon Stars, Jiren, and such. So yeah, that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I bid you farewell.